So one and a half, two weeks ago, I made a video about Chinese batteries. I talked about my experience in ordering delivery and I also showed you the delivery time from placing the order until the batteries showed up here at my doorstep. And quite a few people have asked how much I actually paid for all these batteries. So instead of replying to everyone individually, I thought I'd make a second video and show you how much I actually paid for all my deliveries now. So welcome back to the off-grid garage. Welcome back to Chinese batteries part two. And if you have watched part one of the Chinese batteries, you know I have made three orders so far with the manufacturer directly in China to get this EV 280 ampere hour battery cells, lithium iron phosphate battery cells here to Australia. And you would ask, why did I make three orders instead of one order only? Well, because I could not decide what to build. I wanted to start with a 12 volt system, but then I realized, well, all the equipment is fairly expensive because with a 12 volt system and high load, you have high currents and all the equipment is far more expensive. So I ordered another four battery cells to make a 24 volt system. And then people here on the channel told me, why don't you do 48 volts straight away and build a better, powerful, more capacity system. So before we dive into the costs of these battery cells, including delivery here to Australia, I just wanted to address some more concerns people left under my videos in regards to these orders of batteries directly from China. So if you go to the manufacturer's website on Alibaba, well then you can, of course you can see all the specifications for your battery cell and you can also see a price for that. This is not the price you are going to pay. I don't know exactly how this pricing model works with Alibaba, but this is certainly not the price you are paying when you order these cells. What you have to do is you have to get in contact with the manufacturer you want to buy from and get a quote. Let them know where you live and how many battery cells you are going to buy. And, and they will give you an individual quote for your circumstances. Well, my first order, for example, the price on the website was about 90 US dollars per cell. And the first quote they got me was for $86 per cell only. But after a little bit of negotiation, they dropped the price to only $82 per cell. Well, I told them I'm not ready to order yet and I'm still looking around on Alibaba what is available. And they were really keen to get me to buy their batteries, actually. They came back to me all the time. Well, and eventually dropped the price to $82 only. So again, forget the price which is on Alibaba, get a quote for your individual circumstances. Okay guys, now with any further delay, I just wanted to show you quickly this table I have provided for you. There is a link down in the description and on my website as well to get to this document. So feel free to copy it and to change whatever you need to change to add your own currency. And this gives you the full cost breakdown for all my deliveries I had so far with Alibaba and these battery cells. And I've done this table with different currencies. We've got US dollars, Australian dollars, euros and pound sterling in there as well. And I broke this down in three deliveries. So the yellow one is my first delivery, the green box is my second delivery and the blue box is my third delivery. You can see how many cells I have ordered with each delivery and the month and the year when I ordered these battery cells. I have done the full cost breakdown here, which gives you the cost per cell, the shipping fees, the Alibaba fees or insurance premium, a transaction fee, a credit card fee, the customs, duty, GST, port fees, any other fees, and the processing fees. For the first delivery, I was able to negotiate a better price from $86 to only $82 per cell. The shipping fees for this delivery was $115. There was an Alibaba fee of $9, a transaction fee of $13.34. I still haven't found out exactly what the transaction fee is for, but this is actually charged in Australian dollars already. So when you are in Europe and you order battery cells, this may be already being charged in euros. So I'm not 100% sure what this transaction fee is. It may be another credit card fee what they charge you because you're paying with credit card. Well, because the fee is so low, I don't really pay too much attention to that. We've got a credit card fee. This is what my bank charges me because I'm paying with a different currency with my credit card. This may be different in your country. 
we've got the custom so when you import items into your country you have to pay custom uh, taxes port fees and all kind of other duties this is individual for your country as well so please do your research before you order something from china how are your import policies over there and also do you have to pay customs and duty fees and there's also a processing fee this is for the company who is actually importing the goods into australia here and of course they are not doing this for free either right so and here with the first delivery this was my this was my angst delivery and i was really scared to put my credit card details into this website but you know i had this money actually to play with this money actually came from my car channel my electricity supplier here in australia does a research study at the moment for the next three years and they were looking for customers with electric vehicles to gain some information about how people charge how much they drive where they charge and all this kind of stuff and i was able to refer 13 people to this program and got 50 dollars each as a referral from my energy supplier and i used all this money to buy these batteries so thank you to everyone from my other channel Unplugged TV for using my referral code for this program. Anyway, so it wasn't really too scary because, because this money was basically free for me. Okay, so, and all these costs now add up to 479 US dollars, including shipping, including all fees for four battery cells delivered from China to Australia, including everything. And the cost breakdown is $119.84 per cell delivered, including costs, including fees, everything. And I've done this for the other currencies as well. So you can see this for the first delivery here. And let's just go quickly to the second delivery from August this year. I paid $81.70. The shipping costs were much higher because I ordered 12 battery cells, three boxes, four cells each. And someone actually bought eight of these 12 batteries for me. So I had to place a third order. We've got the Alibaba fees of $25. We've got the transaction fee, which is potentially to cover their credit card costs. My credit card fee from my bank. And for this delivery, because here in Australia, you have to pay customs and duties and import taxes for everything over $1,000. And this order over 12 battery cells was far over $1,000. So I had to pay customs and duty. And also there was a processing fee from the company who imported the battery cells for me and dealt with all the customs and TUDs and everything. So they did all the paperwork for me. They took care of the batteries coming from the ship into the customs, dealt with all the regulations and everything. So this all added up to almost 1,500 US dollars, which is $124.35 per cell delivered. And quickly, the, the third delivery here, the same cost, but again, I did not pay any customs or any duties or something because the value of eight battery cells was under 1000 Australian dollars. This might be totally different in your country. I'm sure it is. You can see I have stated only six battery cells here. These are the two battery cells which I got for free because I complained about the quality of the other battery cells. Um, there is a video which you can watch down below. One of the batteries had some minor dents and the other one had the heat shrink was just not up to the standard, I thought. So I complained, I complained with the company, with the manufacturer directly and they, well, Without any pain, they gave me two batteries for free. So I paid only for six batteries, but I got eight delivered. And this was a total cost of $705 and then per battery, $117.61. This was the cheapest delivery because it was the most amount of cells, but under $1,000. So I didn't need to pay any customs and TUT and port fees and all this kind of stuff. Does it matter? Well, if you look at these cells, $117, $124, $119. We are talking about $8 difference per battery. $8 difference, you know. In terms of the big delivery here, 12 cells, including all the customs, to a smaller order with only eight batteries, and it's cheaper. It's a little bit cheaper, but does it matter? 
I personally would not care. I would just order the amount of batteries I need. Even I have to pay customs or something, it will be a little bit more expensive. But on the other hand, you have to deal with multiple orders, multiple deliveries and everything. It could be more painful. So guys, as I said, I link this spreadsheet here down below as well as on my website. Feel free to look at it if you want to copy it into your Google Drive and modify the currency. You're very welcome to do that. This gives you a cost breakdown what I have paid so far for my three deliveries. I think it's a very comprehensive information now for you to make a decision and go ahead with an order directly from this manufacturer or from any other manufacturer. I've seen a lot of people are ordering these battery cells from AliExpress. But then bear in mind you're not dealing with a manufacturer, you're dealing with a shop. I had very mixed experience with these shops on AliExpress at the moment. So I'm happy to buy certain things from AliExpress if it's a smaller value. But in these price ranges, I'm not sure if I want to deal with the shop instead of the manufacturer directly. Okay guys, so far this video from today, the Chinese battery part two, the cost breakdown, the full cost breakdown. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm more too happy to share all my information with you. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching here and welcome to all my new subscribers. The channel is exploding. The interest is very, very high. Thank you again for all your subscriptions. Thank you again for all your support here on the channel, all your comments, all your feedback, all your emails. I really, really appreciate it. Okay guys, so far for today. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video very soon. Bye bye.